Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am working on a project to repurpose uh, an old pinball play field. Let me show you. So this is a play field that was given to me. This is a, I believe it's a Williams uh, Swinger. And um, somebody had had it laying around for a while. Um, the wiring harness was cut on it. It was just this disembodied play field. But nice color scheme and all of that. Now, if you watch any of these videos, you know that I'm really not a fan of uh, destroying pinball machines that can be restored. I'm certainly not an advocate of cannibalizing things that can be brought back to life. But what do you do if you have something that there's no way, you don't have all the pieces to put it together? Um, again, I don't necessarily encourage completely destroying it, but I've come up with an interesting project here, which is what I call kind of a non-destructive repurposing of an old pinball thing. So I've built this cabinet and C it's designed so you can drop the play field inside. And uh, you basically have a pinball coffee table. So uh, I'll show off the design that I've done here. Um, one side has wheels underneath it and one side doesn't. So I can pick up and I'm going to put a little handle on one side so that you can, you can wheel it around very easily. You can move it, Let's see, like that. It's pretty nice. Um, and this is a prototype of the top that we've done for it. So we're using, the main composition of this is 3 8 inch plywood, 2 by 4s and 1 by 4s. And of course you can use any grade uh, wood that you'd like. We did this prototype using somewhat common wood. Um, and then I'll show you how I've kind of improved on it. So these, the top of this is basically just a set of one by fours that I miter cut and I used a biscuit joiner to attach them together. And you'll see that I've notched out this here. Now this is not routed out. I put this on a table saw and I cut about a quarter of an inch deep on one side and about an inch wide on the other. So I basically just ripped this, this out on a table saw and built the box. The box is made with one by eights around the inside. So it's eight in, it's a little bit like seven and a half inch deep and then the play field sits inside of it. Now this is designed for a standard size play field but you could also use you could also modify it a little bit and make a wide body. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So, this is a standard sheet of playfield glass right here. And this is designed so that the play the playfield glass really can just drop right in to this. So let's just drop right in. And so there you go. So we take the standard playfield glass with the 1x4s and we've created a nice coffee table design here. What I'll do is I'll use some little L brackets to attach this top part and that way you, you can close it in, um, take a little bead of silicone and put a silicone around the edges here and just seal it and it should be relatively worry free. It, if you wanted to, you could route deeper and put some weather stripping in there since this is just going to be... Uh, and of course this is unfinished. So let me show you what it, look, what it looks like finished. We'll pop this glass out. Move this out of the way. Okay. So the next step is to, you know, you could finish it in a number of different ways. This is a red oak here that has been stained with a cherry wood stain and I'll put some um, polyurethane over on it. So the design for this particular table 
is going to be the the the, the, cab, the box is going to be painted like a pinball cabinet with a wood grain top like this. Of course, you could do designs. You know, there's, there's lots of lots of possibilities. But this is higher grade wood here. This is red oak that that, that I've used, and it, it's over here drying right now. So that's coming along. So let me show you a few features of the table and how it's constructed. Pull the play field out. Now what I will eventually do is once I get the cabinet finished, I'll put some LEDs inside of this box or underneath the play field, possibly use an Arduino and write a little uh, piece of software to sequence what looks like an attract mode in it. So if you look at the, the box you'll see Let's pull it upside down, you can see how it's made underneath. Basically, we've got two wheels on one side, and this is this is a um, two by four frame, and I've got some one by fours up here across beams that are that the wheels are mounted on, so they just poke out a little bit less than an inch. And then I have this upper box. Let's pull this right here. This upper box is basically made out of one by eights. You will notice this red stuff here on the sides. I use, use a little Bondo to, to cover over the um, screw holes. I screwed it all together and smooth it out and then I sanded it down a little bit. This is not super high grade wood. So the way the table is built is you have this, it's, it's open on one side and then it's closed on the other three sides and that'll be painted like a regular pinball machine design. And then this goes like this. There's another piece of wood that fits underneath there that, that makes the, uh, the bottom shelf. And so there's basically the design. Re relatively simple, but um, <clears throat> pretty utilitarian. Now this is a little bit taller than a standard coffee table because I wanted something just a little bit taller, but I also made sure that it was not so tall that it can't be hidden underneath a couple of pinball machines. So, for our purpose, we roll this out casually in the club when people are hanging out around the sofa. If we have an event and we need more space, we can wheel it up underneath the pinball machines. Its height is such that we can slide it underneath a couple of pinball machines and it'll just be tucked under way underneath there. That's nice. So, there you have it. Now what I'm about to do today is to work on the paint and I'm going to start painting the cabinet. That's what I'm doing right now. So I just picked up some white and I'm going to do it like uh, the old style. I'll paint it white and then I'll flex some some black on it and create a kind of a texture to hide the imperfections because they didn't really use super high grade wood when they built these cabinets. So they put a kind of a paint job on it that was kind of hid any imperfections. And that's basically what we'll do. So this is a first step for it. I'll, uh, I'll show you more as it nears completion. And uh, we're also going to be fabricating some custom stencils for the artwork on the side. And uh, I'll show you more on that. So it's a fun little project that you can take an existing play field and even with the wiring harness and all that you can stuff it up in there. There's plenty of room. It doesn't even have to be a pinball play field. That big box you could put anything in there. You know, some mementos, uh, whatever. Pretty neat, neat little setup I think. So I'll be showing you more of that soon. Uh, so as always uh, visit my website pinballhelp.com. I'm also on Facebook um, slash pinball help and YouTube slash pinball help and then there's Twitter pinball help and all that. And uh, if you want to find out more about the club that we've got going and help support us, which is always appreciated, you can go to mysticcrew.com. That's M-Y-S-T-I-C-K-R-E-W-E.com. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.